Hi everybody, it's Haley with HaleyWithAFlare.com and today we're going to answer that very important question. Should you travel to Vegas right now? I hope you guys enjoyed the previous small glamorized version of my travel day. Uh, but now you're gonna get the nitty gritty. So the actual process of flying to Vegas was super simple, super easy. Delta has just done a great job. I like how they board from the back of the plane forward. They're blocking middle seats still, I believe through May 1st at this point and then they're gonna open it back up. But just safety-wise, I've really enjoyed Delta and I actually paid a little bit more to fly Delta for that reason. And also I'm gold medallion, so, you know, I'm a bit of a, a, bit of a Delta snob. However, when it comes to traveling to Vegas, there are some things you need to know. And I think if some of you followed me on my lives and TikTok, I've kind of talked about how if you're gonna travel right now, you need to have a little bit of grace. Things aren't quite back to normal just yet. So I know this, I work in hotels and I went in with this thought process. However, myself going over that spring breakish time period, cause most schools either have like the third week in March or over the Easter week, which is what my daughter normally has and she was at her father's, um, tr you know, travel's gonna be picked up a bit more. I will say that Las Vegas was not prepared. <laughs> at all um the common theme that we got is there there were weights almost everywhere in general was everybody's having a hard time hiring nobody wants to come back to work um i could have made more money than i did gambling if i had a dollar for every time i heard that phrase which is common i mean a lot of the hotels that my company services are facing the same problem trying to get people to come back to work Anyways, different story. So when I say that they weren't prepared, we got to the airport, we landed about 10.30 p.m. and the process of going to get our bags and get to the rental car shuttle to go pick up our car took about 90 minutes. Reason being is the rental car shuttles that go to the rental car center because they don't necessarily have one in terminal. You have to take a shuttle to their actual center. You find that at larger airports it was limited to 20 people because of COVID. Like there's only so many people they allow on the bus. The buses were not super frequent and there was a huge line. So just the process of going from getting off the plane, picking up our bags, waiting for the rental car shuttle, and actually going through the rental car desk, getting our paper because their digital kiosks weren't working. That whole process was about 90 minutes. And then we went into the parking garage and I mean, it was desolate, like hardly any, ca any cars available. We had originally reserved a standard SUV. There were none of those. The guy out there was actually very gracious and upgraded us to a Cadillac SUV in the premium line, which was wonderful. But then we had to wait in line to get out of the rental car parking garage. And that was 30 minutes because there were only two open. And there was a bit of a fiasco there. We got up there, handed our paperwork, and the guy said our name didn't match the reservation. And it was correct when I put it in, but the guy inside changed our last name from Whiting to Redding. And this guy was like, you're gonna have to go back inside. And behind us was a line of about 20 or so cars. And I mean, it's 12.30 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, New York time. And my husband's like, no, we're not going back inside. Somebody can come fix this. I'm not waiting back in this line because we were super exhausted. So technically the whole process from wheels down to getting out of the airport rental car garage was two hours. So we were a little bit tired. Uh, the strip was definitely busy, um, just like pre COVID in my opinion. So we rolled up to the Venetian where we were staying and 
it's busy. I've worked for a full service hotel, big, big full service hotel before. Um, it's busy. I wouldn't say it was over pouring busy, like there weren't lines out the door, but it was definitely um, thick traffic getting through there. We got off out of our car. There were in the valet section, there were luggage carts lined up down the side. So we went to take one of those to load up our luggage because I had four suitcases that were over 60 pounds plus two gear bags. I have a really bad back. I have two herniated discs, so I wasn't going to be lugging those through a casino. Uh, they had a bunch of Bell staff come over. They're like, hey, we'll actually take your bags for you. We can't have you take the carts. And I'm like, you know what? Even better. <laughs> like, then I don't have to worry about it. And that's, the, and that's a bonus to staying with a true full service hotel. They have a Bell staff that can take care of your luggage for you so you can focus on starting your vacation, getting checked in, etc. So we go to check in inside and there's posters with QR codes for a digital check-in and a digital key. And I looked at the line. The line wasn't, like I said, overflowing, but it was about halfway full. And I was like, do you know what? I would love to do digital check-in. Pull up my phone, do it. There was a problem with it and it said I had to get in line. So we waited in line for about 20 minutes, got up. I had to make an alteration to my reservation. I had to change my de departure date because of my Utah project. Um, and the girl disappeared for about 20, 25 minutes looking for her resort manager on how to do that. I worked on that system, so I'm not sure uh, what the big holdup was, but, you know, had some grace. And she came back. She was very sweet. And she handed us our keys and said, your luggage will be up shortly because we had to hand her that tag and our valet tag. So we get up to our hotel room at about 2 a.m. at this point, you know, 5 a.m. New York time and 2 30 goes by and there's no bags so we call because you know it's kind of like looking around the room the rooms are huge and beautiful and if you want to see a room tour head over to my shorts or my TikTok. i did a full room tour so make sure you check that out they're all studio suites and bigger which is you cannot be the size of these rooms on the strip like you just can't so we called and they're like, oh, it's going to be up in 15, 20 minutes. We're a little backed up. So we're like, okay. So, you know, just getting settled, waiting for our bags. You know, my husband's CPAP is in our bags, but, you know, just enjoyed the room. 3 a.m. rolls by. There's still no bags. So my husband calls and asks for a supervisor. And she kind of had a bit of an attitude. It was like, well, we're really busy down here, but I can send them up right now. So we wait and 3.30 comes by and there's no bags. At this point in time, we're just, we're tired. <laughs> we're exhausted. My husband goes downstairs to go find our bags and bring them up. And he saw the cart that's all loaded with our stuff and he went to take it. And they're like, oh, you can't take the carts, we're busy. And my husband's like, somebody can follow me up and come get this car. I'm, I need to go to bed, we're exhausted. So somebody followed him up to take the cart back down. So that was a little off-putting. And I think I was intending to film more of this portion in Vegas, but I was not the most satisfied with my Venetian experience. It's not that it's, you know, a dumpy hotel or anything like that. Just compared to other venues that I encountered in Vegas, even though they had less staff and wait times, um, they were overall just more pleasant to deal with. And myself working in hotels for 14 years, that customer service piece is invaluable. You can have a property that is dated, that you know maybe isn't the shiniest penny on the block, but if it's clean and it has great service, I will always sing your praises because those kind of things are not in the hotel's control. But overall speaking, aside from the one girl that checked us in, and our housekeeper, the hotel staff, different from restaurant, the hotel staff at the Venetian was just very grumpy and not very empathetic. So if you wanna know more to that story, there's even a few more things that we incur during our visit. You can head over to my TikTok, cause that's where all the tea is. All the non-professional <laughs> videos are over there on my TikTok. Um, I would definitely go back I wouldn't stay at the Venetian again. I'd probably pick something more mid strip or even off the strip. Cause you'll see later on through this series, I had a really great experience at an off strip um, casino resort, which was wonderful. 
cannot wait to show that to you guys. But yeah, so if you're gonna travel to Vegas right now, you need to keep in mind that it's not the Vegas you remember. Nightclubs still aren't open. Shows are gradually opening, but there's not a whole lot to choose from and you're gonna wait for everything. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is that you need to have a reservation for everything. Even when we had reservations, you know, there was still like a little lag and wait time. But if there's a restaurant, a bar, even for like lunch, breakfast, you need to look up and see what their reservations are because they, they do fill up fast. Now, I do expect that Vegas won't be quite as busy when I was there because it was during a school break and I was really shocked at how many people brought their kids to Vegas. Um, I think that's the most, like most kids I've seen in a place outside of Disney World. Like that's how many kids there were. Um, it was just wild. But I would think if you're after that more authentic Vegas experience, you need to wait. Wait it out, wait for, you know, staffing to become a little bit more normalized. Uh, wait for clubs and shows to open but you know if you want to maximize on maybe some cheaper pandemic rates and you don't mind waiting and you can kind of take things at a leisurely pace give it a try so there's going to be more in this vegas series i'm going to be covering cocktails top restaurants um, photo ops i'm going to be highlighting that off strip resort and casino so there are many more things to come on Vegas as well as Utah, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I tend to post here every Wednesday on YouTube unless I'm traveling, so make sure you subscribe and don't forget to follow me on social over here just like you saw in the beginning, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!